Hey there, it is your girl Camilla Kay, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing tips with you on how you can still be a model as a freelance model for those who have yet to become signed to a modeling agency. Hey there, it is your girl Camilla Kay, and I am a professional agency signed model, and I'm also a modeling coach for aspiring models where I teach Aspiring models all about the modeling industry from how to avoid scams, how to develop your portfolio, how to get signed to an agency, things of that nature. So I do these YouTube videos and I also teach clients in my one-on-one -on -one private coaching classes. So in this video, we're going to be talking all about the freelance modeling for those who have this passion, this desire to become a model. Okay, so first and foremost, to be clear, I'm assuming you already know what freelance modeling is since you are watching this video, but if not, let's just quickly go over it. Freelance modeling is when you are able to book modeling jobs, book photo shoots, things of that nature without being signed to a modeling agency. So it means that you are still able to pursue your career, still possibly make income as a model, but yet without the representation of the huge umbrella of a modeling agency. So as a freelance model, that means that all the responsibility is in your hands for you to book work. Let's talk about the differences between getting signed to an agency versus freelancing and the pros and cons that goes along with that. So first and foremost, when you are signed to a modeling agency, the agency is essentially in charge or the trajectory of your career within whatever the scope of their contract is. Now, when you are a freelance model, you are gonna be the one that's gonna be directly reaching out to photographers and asking them if they are interested in shooting with you. You are also gonna be the one trying to book clients on your own. You're gonna be the one that's gonna be trying to get casting calls on your own. So I'm gonna go over multiple different things of what it takes to become a freelance model in no particular order because all of these things will be important in navigating this industry being your own representation. One of the things that you want to be very mindful about is professionalism. I know it seems so basic when people always talk about being professional and people drill it into you, but even if you're not working in corporate America in a nine to five job, this modeling industry demands of you for you to be professional because when a client is hiring you as a model, it's just as if they're hiring a worker to work in their office full time. At the end of the day, there's still a goal that that client has that represents their brand. Here's an example. Let's say that someone reaches out to you and asks you if you are interested in doing a job and they do this via email or maybe on Instagram DM. When you respond to this client, you wanna show them that you are a business person, that you have your ducks in a row. So when you reach back out to them, you should start by saying, hi, so-and-so, whatever their name is. Thank you so much for reaching out to me for this potential opportunity. Would love to discuss this more with you and then start listing out whatever questions or thoughts you have based on what they said to you. Let me pause real quick. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure that you do so if you're liking the content that I give. Hit the bell notification button, hit the thumbs up button, and make sure that you share this video and any other videos on my channel to those that you know could use the tips. Along the professional lines, I know social media is everything right now. Everyone is on social media. So if you don't have an Instagram page, they have no other parameter for figuring out what your personality is like, what your everyday is like, because clients wanna to get to know you. They wanna see if you really represent their brand. So in order for them to be able to do that, you have to be on social media. Something else to consider when you are on social media and you are a freelance model, one great way that you can start to get the attention of brands is start tagging them in photos that represents that brand. So for instance, if you, like me, wants to shoot with a beauty brand, which I have shot with beauty brands before, but as I just continue on my career, if you know that you are wearing, let's say, a Revlon lipstick, tag Revlon in that photo and show that you are actually wearing their product. As you tag brands more and more, if you're wearing a shirt from Target, for instance, or this shirt that I'm wearing is a brand called Kate and Kyla, tag that brand in your post. And then sometimes they will just directly send you a message either via email or on your Instagram DM and say, hey, we really like your look. We see that you're always showcasing our product and we'd love to do some kind of partnership with you. Make sure that you keep it updated and make sure that the quality of the pictures on there represents that of a model. If every single one of your photos on your Instagram page is of a selfie, 
nothing wrong with selfies, but you need to show the client that you can do more than just selfies. You need to be showing photos on there that shows you in different angles, different styles of clothing. You want to show them that you can have different facial expressions. And so you want to make sure that you're Instagram is diverse, but yet focused within the modeling industry. If this is truly what your goal is, if you want to become a freelance model and attract a client that is typically used to booking models through a modeling agency. So before we continue, comment below, comment below if you are currently a freelance model, or maybe even if you're assigned with a modeling agency, comment below what your current status is, comment below what your goals are with either booking more jobs as a freelance model or what your goals are to maybe eventually move out of the freelance model category and move into actually being agency signed. Another thing that you wanna make sure that you're doing when you are a freelance model is you wanna start reaching out to photographers. This is becoming increasingly more important and even easier with social media, with Instagram. So what you can do is start searching for photographers that are on Instagram, that are within your area or within another city or state that you're willing to travel to, knowing that you're gonna obviously have the cost, the expenses of traveling to another location. And sometimes photographers will even put notes on their stories or on their feed saying that they're looking to work with new models. Obviously in those cases, this is your opportunity to reach out to that photographer. When you're creating a portfolio with a photographer, you wanna make sure that you are shooting photos that have you in natural makeup. So when you're shooting with a photographer, start to capture images that you see on modeling agencies, websites on their Instagrams, and you'll notice that a lot of the models are just in denim jackets and jeans and no jewelry. Things that are very simple, think Gap, think J. Crew, think Target, think Kohl's. When you're trying to book paid jobs as a freelance model, start networking. If there's New York Fashion Week, for instance, maybe that's something that you can go to. If there's networking events in your local community where you can meet photographers, meet other models, sometimes even there are companies who do local casting calls. For instance, Let's say in Miami, there are boutiques all over the place. A lot of times those boutiques are looking for models and they'll pay you a few hundred dollars to do a shoot with them. And that is a way that you can start to work with clients, get in front of the camera and actually get paid work. But you may not know of those things or may not have any interaction or rapport with a boutique if you're never at those boutiques, if you're never networking at events where those boutiques sometimes sponsor those events. So try to get out, interact with people. Sometimes your friends will tell you of a company that they've heard of that you can then reach out to or the company is looking for a model and someone says, hey, I know that this girl's always talking about modeling and she has great pictures. Let me refer you. I know for myself, there's been plenty of times where I have referred freelance models to clients who are looking for someone to help them out for the day for a photo shoot. All right, so I hope that these tips have been super helpful on how you too can pursue your goal of becoming a model as a freelance model. Major kudos to anybody that writes these down in the comments of the main tips that I covered in the freelance categories. All right, well that is it for this week's video on how to become a freelance model and all of those things that relates to it. Be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification button because the bell notification button is actually what alerts you to the fact that a new video was just uploaded. So don't just subscribe, make sure you hit the bell notification button. Also hit the thumbs up button if you like this video, share it with other people, share it with aspiring models and be sure to let me know if there's any other videos that you want me to do for you. And until next time, have an amazing week. Bye.